everybody, it's Natasha from the Brockville YMCA just coming back on to continue our practice. Um, so last time we did some breath work and some sun salutations. So today we're just going to continue on with some leg raises and some postures, our asanas. But just before we get started, I'd like to say once again, let's just get ourselves focused. Cross-legged, hands on your knees. Nice tall spine, shoulders back, chest up. Just shutting off the mind and just regrouping as we inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. As we inhale, our ribs expand. Exhale as they soften. All right, let's get back onto our mat. Into our famous Shavasana. Feet apart, legs apart, palms facing up. Close your eyes. Let's bring our feet and our legs together. Inhale, stretch your arms up over your head. Give it a good stretch, stretch, stretch the spine. Exhale, bring those hands flat back by your side. Now we have a couple positions we can do for our leg raises. If you experience lower back pain, you're more than welcome to bend the opposite leg that we're working on. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate it first with the knee bent. We're going to inhale, bring that right leg up, keep the heel flexed, keep the leg straight, Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, bring that left leg up. Heels flexed, leg straight. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, right leg up. Make sure that leg is nice and straight. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, right leg up and hold. You're going to interlock your fingers just below the knee onto the shin. Try not to put it where the knee is, just below. Keep that leg nice and straight. Inhale. Exhale, bring that head and shoulders as close to the knee as you can. You're going to slide your head as close to your ankle as you can. Close the eyes and relax. Only go as far as your body is allowing you to into the stretch. Remember, you can also bend your knee in the opposite if you need to. Inhale, exhale, bring that head and shoulders back down, bend the knee to the chest, interlock your fingers just below the knee, give it a good squeeze, open up that hip. Inhale, exhale, bring your head and shoulders as close to your knee as you can. You're going to draw three big circles with your big toe in one direction. 
and draw three big circles in the opposite direction. Inhale, exhale, bring your head and shoulders back down to the mat. Drop your hands by your side. Straighten out that right leg in the air. Keep it nice and straight, heels flexed. And you're gonna exhale, slowly bringing the right leg down on five, four, three, two, one, and release. Inhale, bring that left leg up, keep it nice and straight, heels flex. You're gonna interlock your fingers once again below where the knee is. Keep it nice and straight. Inhale, exhale, bring that head and shoulders as close to your knee as you can. You're gonna slide those hands up the leg as close to your ankle as you can. Keep the leg straight. Close your eyes. Inhale, exhale, then bringing your head and shoulders back down to the mat. Bend your knee to your chest. Interlock your fingers onto that shin. Open up the hip. Give it a good squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, bring the head and shoulders as close to the knee as you can. You're gonna draw three big circles in one direction. And then draw three big circles in the opposite direction. Inhale, exhale, bring that head and shoulders back down to the mat. Drop your hands by your side. Straighten up that leg in the air. Keep it nice and straight. And we're gonna slowly release the leg down on five, four, three, two, one, and release. Take a few moments to catch your breath as we continue with our double leg raises. Now, if you're having pain on your lower back, what I would suggest for you is to slide your arms underneath your back. Keep your arms nice and straight. I'll demonstrate with that first, and then as I continue, I will take them out. The choice is yours. You wanna be comfortable in this position. And let's begin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, bring both those legs up. Exhale, bring them back down. Inhale, both legs up. Exhale, bring it back down. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself, slide those arms nice and tight along the side. And you can leave a few inches off the ground. Or you can continue with your single leg raises. The choice is yours. Inhale, both legs up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, bring it back down. You can do a couple of rounds of these if you'd like, as this will help strengthen your core. Inhale, legs up. 
and hold. We're gonna slowly bring the legs down on five, four, three, two, one, and release. Get yourself nice and comfortable as we prepare ourselves for our first posture. We're gonna go into a shoulder stand. You're more than welcome just to use a block and if it's not something that you enjoy, you can go ahead and get yourself in a bridge position. The choice is yours. Now, as I roll onto my shoulders, trying to, to keep my legs nice and straight, my back straight, you want your legs nice and tall up. Focus on your breath. Try to keep those legs nice and straight. Now, if you want to use a block for this position, you can slide it underneath and bring those feet up. Once you're in your shoulder stand, you want to go a little further in your practice into a plow. You can slowly start to bring the legs over the head. If you can touch your toes to the ground, go ahead. Remember only to go as far as your practice. Just a quick demonstration of some postures. Once you're done in your plow and you want to come back over to your shoulder stand, we're going to slowly bring the arms down and roll one vertebrae down at a time. As we continue with our practice and those of you that are in your bridge, I'm going to go ahead and explain the bridge as well. So bend your knees, hip width apart. You can place your arms either by your side or you can interlock your fingers. I will do a couple of modifications with you. So we'll first we'll start with our arms by our side. Take a deep inhale and let's bring those hips up, up, up in the air and hold. You want to try a little further as your hips are up and you want to interlock your fingers you'll bring your shoulder blades in which are going to bring you up a little higher into your bridge if you want to go a little further you can place your hands on your sit bones which will bring you up even higher but if you'd like you're more than welcome Slide a block underneath. Your sit bones that will prop you up into your bridge. If you want to go a little higher, flip the block up a little more. There's different sizes of block, so find what works for you. There's thicker ones. This one's a little thinner. If you wanted to go up a little higher. Close your eyes and relax. As you're up in your bridge, take a deep inhale. And we're going to slowly exhale, bringing Bend our knees to our chest, wrap our arms around, 
start to rock side to side, left to right, giving that spine a good massage. Start to roll forwards and backwards, just like a boat coming up into seating for a forward bend. Straighten out the legs. Nice tall spine. Shoulders back. Chest up. Head looking forward. Just relax as you focus on your breath. Let's inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, let's bending forward. If you can grab your toes, grab your toes. You can go a little further, bringing your head down to your knees. If you can't touch, that's all right. You can look forward, readjust yourself. Deep inhale, fully exhale. You may also use a strap if that helps, grabbing it on by your feet, wrapping around your hands, straightening out the legs, take a deep inhale, and then bend forward, stretching out that spine. Close your eyes and relax. I'm gonna flip over to your way. So just a couple positions that you can do um, throughout the day to help um, get in your yoga practice. I will continue doing a couple more demonstrations of the yoga as well. So I hope you enjoy today, um, just learning about uh, doing some leg raises, some modifications, then doing our um, shoulder stand with the plow and uh, going ahead and doing our bridge and our forward bend. Uh, till I see you again, have a great day. Namaste.